Well, of course, everyone's celebrating the 4th of July today, and so we are talking about some 4th of July decorations. And our design experts, Tim and Kara Pasley, are here this morning. You guys have some awesome stuff. Well, thanks. 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 Yeah. We like it, too. Yeah. <laughs> Red, white, and blue, that's obviously the theme. Uh, where do you want to start here? Well, you know, we're seeing a lot of party decorations out right now, but we really think the American spirit is something that we should capture with our decor more than once a year. Yes, I right. like it. All right, we brought some ideas to incorporate into your everyday decor um, to help show off not only American freedom, but also to celebrate and honor those who have fought and sacrificed for that freedom. Okay, right. cool. We're going to start over here? Yes. Our first tip is obviously to bring in the red, white, and blue mm -hmm. color palette. Um, you know, depending on what space you're working with, you can change the hues to make it fit. Right. So if you're in a more traditional space, you could use the maroons and navies. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're, you know, decorating a kid's space, you could go with the fire engine red and the bright blue. Yes, I love that. Right. And this pillar right here is cool, too. Kind of the uh, nautical... Theme yeah. going on yeah. to red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's, okay. It's really important for Kara and I to incorporate the story of the people who live in the space into the design plan. Um, and so the easiest and most obvious way to do that is always with pictures. Of course. Definitely. Yes. So there's my grandpa over yeah. there. I he love was, that. Yeah, I know. He was a sailor. And so, you know, by putting that on my wall, I not only love it because it's my grandpa, yeah. but it reminds me of the, you know, sacrifice that he and others have made for yes, us. Yes, definitely so. love yeah. that. This right here, very cool. Yeah, a lot of times veterans, you know, they have uh, keepsakes or items that they had from their time in service mm -hmm. and they often end up in a closet or up in the attic uh, and so we came up with this idea to kind of bring those out so you can enjoy them every day. Yeah. Uh, we made a quick lamp out of this old army helmet. Um, we pick, actually picked this up at our favorite flea market, uh, River City Trading Company over in Jinx. Um, okay. Really simple, easy idea. Uh, ends see. up being a one of a one of a kind wonderful piece. So you basically just kind of put a hole in the top of it and, yep. and then just stick it, it onto on a lamp tip. Yep. Easy Pretty as easy. that. Yeah. Love it. Easy peasy. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about this before we run out of time. Okay. Because I love this. Well, stripes are a big deal in patriotic decor, so mm -hmm. you can bring that in in a number of ways. Yeah. This um, is signifying a curtain panel. It's not actually a full-length one. <laughs> but I, I took a canvas drop cloth, painted the stripes on there, and then just to add that fun military accent, we used yeah. dog tags as tie backs. So love that's that. really fun. And then over here, you have something else framed. Yeah, this over here, we actually picked this up at our trip to the uh, Arch in St. Louis this year. Um, it's a National Monument gift store. It's a replica of the Constitution. They're just a couple bucks. Uh, they make really easy art, you know, again, celebrate that American spirit, but also kind of pull double, double duty and uh, add, add as a reminder as, a, you know, hopefully a wonderful yeah, family trip. I love this. You guys have really incorporated the 4th of July, red, white, and blue <laughs> yeah. into easy decorating, uh, easy decorating things that we can all do, I think. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. If you would like... Some more um, design ideas from these people right here. Tim and Kara Pasley. Go to their blog spot, karapasleydesigns.blogspot.com.